Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube. So thanks so much for clicking into my very first YouTube. This is something I've always wanted to do and uh, I thought what better time to do it but being locked in self-quarantine during this like crazy time. Well keep smiling, I know everyone's really been affected by this so it's nice just to pick up something that you've always wanted to do and you haven't had the time to do so give it a shot now. <laughs> I put out on Instagram yesterday if there's any videos that people wanted to see and loads of people actually said like chatty sit down videos Now I didn't think anyone would actually be interested in that but turns out people are so I decided just to get me started uh, and get myself into it I would just do like a 50 facts like get to know me kind of about me video which is kind of weird like I didn't think anyone would care but here we are, so if anyone actually cares, thanks. I thought this would be a nice, easy place to start, get into it, get comfortable, and uh, get over my fear. So I have the nerves, but sure, look, here we are, and I'm gonna give it my best shot. And um, we'll just see how it goes, I guess. Nothing better to be doing, though. I hope you enjoy, and yeah, let's get into it. So I got some questions online, and then I kind of just made up some of them as well. Um, of things I thought people would care about and yeah let's get into 50 facts about me. So it starts out where do I currently live so I live in Dublin Ireland if anyone most of you'll know. Uh, I love Dublin I think it's a class place to live. I go to college in Dublin everything's in Dublin pretty much so yeah a bit of a Dublin hun. What year were you born? I was born in 2000 so I'm actually a millennium baby so I'm gonna be 20 this year uh, May 16th is my birthday. Are you in or have you gone to college? Yes, I am in second year. I actually forgot there because we just haven't been in. But I'm in second year studying primary school teaching. Uh, I love it. I really like doing teaching. I always wanted to do it since I was young. So like when I got it, it was just, I just love it. It's great. So, finish a half two every day. Like it's just bliss. Really love it. I actually just keep getting the fear that this isn't recording. So yeah, that's why I keep getting up. And getting down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm a Bit of a deep one, but uh, it says, what are your life goals? I actually am full of life goals. I think, I don't know, I love having a little plan and all. Um, so obviously I'm doing teaching right now. I'd love to do, I'd love to go abroad and teach. Uh, I'd love to teach in America or teach in Dubai or do something like that. And then I'd love to do a master's in something after I finish my degree in two years. So I don't know what in yet, but I know I just want to do a master's in something. So we'll just see where that ends up. I don't really know. Maybe an education or something. I'll just have to see. Have any books you read changed your life? Yeah, the last book I read, I don't really read that much. I'm trying to get better at it, and especially during self-quarantine, I'm trying to like read more. But um, I've read a book called Everything I Know About Love. It's by Dolly Alderton. I'll leave it up here or something. Um, but I've told loads of the girls about it and they've all read it. It's literally one of the best books I've ever read. My friend Verona gave it to me um, and she read it and it's class. Honestly, recommend it 100%. Who are your favourite YouTubers? I honestly used to be such a big YouTube girl, but now like it's more bloggers really, isn't it? And like Instagram people. So like I'm going to do Irish ones because I feel like that's fitting. Keelan Moncrief, um, she does all sustainable fashion and stuff. Uh, Rosanna Purcell, obviously. Um, I think she's class, the hike life and all. Uh, Keel, I know this, Rosie Connolly and Terry McAvoy, obsessed. Uh, and then my friend started an Instagram recently, Secondhand Huns, where she does all sustainable fashion and charity shop stuff, so I love that as well. Do you speak any languages and how well? I actually speak, I'd say I speak English and Irish, like, fairly good. Well, obviously I speak English good, like, because, yeah. But like I speak Irish like good enough because of primary school. Like I give um I should just finish giving a leave to her Irish crime before I film this video. So there you go. Um I also did Italian in secondary school and I loved Italian, so I think I can kind of speak Italian like medium. Are you single or taken? So a bit of a dramatic one here. I'm actually single at the moment. Um yeah. So on the single self-quarantine buzz, do you know what I mean? It's something else, but your luck. What's your idea of a dream date, of your dream date? Honestly, I'm so easy with dates. Like I, I love like, I love Italian restaurants. I love um, like cinema, like chill night in, movie, 
takeaway kind of vibes. Like I'm, I'm not really like too dramatic with my whole dream date vibes. How would you describe your fashion sense? Ugh, not really that kind of vibe. It's your go-to hairstyle. So like I either do um. I got a Dyson hair dryer and I love that so much. So like I'll either do, um, I usually just wear my hair like straightened with the steam pot or the GHD or then like bouncy, bouncy blow dry vibes or like curl up vibes. How many siblings do you have? I have one sister, she's 15 and she's doing her junior cert if she even gets to her junior cert at this rate, but anyway. What's your most memorable holiday? I'd say I went to America for three months last summer and did Camp America, so I'm going to be doing a video about that soon. I did a J1 in um, through USA summer camps and I'm going to be doing a video all about that very soon. Definitely my most memorable summer. I met like literally some of my best friends to this day and like just people from all around the world. It's such, so important to me. What are your morning and evening routines? It honestly depends like because either I'm in college and I'm like going into college in the morning, getting the bus in, skag, hate the bus. Um, I'm trying to do my driver's theory at the moment just to literally avoid the bus. Um, so going to college all day, my college is like full on all day so like I wouldn't really have like breaks for lunch or anything. Like breaks for like big periods in the day off. And then I'd have rehearsals, that would be my, my old routine and then just home. It's just all commuting, honestly my life is commuting. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Um, honestly, I got my ears pierced for the first time there like two two weeks ago, and I'm 19 years of age. That's something weird. What's your favorite What's your favorite Netflix show? I'm definitely a Gossip Girl kind of girl. Uh, I've like watched it too many times now, but like that's my that's always gonna be my show. Do you know what I mean? Even no matter what comes on. What is the craziest thing you've done? Um, okay, so last summer when I went away, um, the camp brought us to this like theme park, it was called Dorney Park and I'm terrified of like all like adrenaline rush things, like, I just don't like it, but one of the girls was like to me, come on we'll start small and then we'll like work our way up and we'll get you onto like a medium roller coaster. But she brought me to literally the red roller coaster. Like it was, they went green, orange, and red, and this was the only red roller coaster in the park. And I got on it, queued for it, got on it, and literally when I was on it, getting into the seat, I realised it was like the big one. But sure, I was on it. Like there's nothing I could do. And uh, I actually thought my my soul left my body. <laughs> I was so scared. I actually thought I died. Like, I thought I died. And then I got off it and I felt amazing. So it's probably the craziest thing. It's not that crazy, but. Oh my God, the next question is what theme parks have you been to? Dorney Park in like Pennsylvania or somewhere. Uh, what was your dream job? What was your dream job as a kid? I always wanted to be a teacher, honestly. Um, either that or like a singer and an actress, but like teacher was always like, do you know what I mean? The go-to, haven't changed since then. How many countries have you been to? Uh, I actually literally always try and go, I love seeing new places, like it's like my favourite thing to do is go to new places. Um, countries I've been to, I've been to the US, Italy, Spain, France, Portugal, all them, uh, England, Hungary, there's probably more. Um, I've definitely embarrassed myself and said a continent there, have I? Oh, I actually don't even want to know if I have. I'll check when I edit it. Um, who is your celebrity crush? Definitely. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, definitely uh, Tommy Shelby. Um, what's his name? Killian, Killian Murphy. Yeah, obsessed. Um, is there anyone that... Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. From La... No, not from La La From... Just Timothy Chalamet, like you know him, like he's glass. Uh, what are your pet peeves? Oh, gas. Uh, like in a crush or in like, I don't know, I'm asking, you can't answer. Bad breath. Severe phobia to bad breath. Like, cannot stand. Like, step five escape. Can't stand. Um, other phobia, what's a phobia? No. Pet peeves. Other pet peeves would be. 
Do you know when someone just doesn't ask you about, like, they aren't very considerate in a conversation? Like, they're always just talking about themselves, kind of, like, bringing the attention to themselves. I love it when people are, like, real... I don't know, they actually care about what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? I think it's so obvious when someone's just, like, waiting to talk about themselves. It's like, right, we get it. What do you do in your free time? I, in my free time, so I'm not doing anything, I'm not doing college work or planning lessons or doing all that stuff, I play the piano, do musicals, usually I'm in a musical, so I was in TMT, Trinity Musical Theatres, Jesus Christ Superstar, but it got shut down due to the coronavirus. So like acting, singing, dancing, and then I go to DSC gym, uh, it's like personal training. So I love doing that, I do that like about three or four times a week with my friend Kim. We go together and uh, yeah, it's gas, just such the best crack, like honestly. I used to hate all that sort of stuff, like exercise, moving, like I was lazy and anything. Used to run away from PE, those girls who know, who know, I used to step five from PE. And now, sure, I'm milling down to the gym. What's your favorite color? Definitely yellow. I was a pink kind of girl, but like yellow is just my vibe, I love yellow. This one's kind of interesting. Do you know your personality type? What is it? I think I'd be like extrovert kind of um, like just outgoing kind of vibes um, when I'm around the right people I'm definitely outgoing when I'm not around the right people like I'm just kind of normal do you know what I mean I really like this one what are friend values that you what are your favorite values in friends um, I have a great group I love my friends honestly I'm just thinking about them now but I think friends like my favorite thing about my friends are how supportive they are like they're always like just there when I need them or if I'm ever doing anything like even this they're like like number one fans and funny I think people have to be gas like gas crack all my friends are like gas so I love it what social medias are you addicted to I hate to say it like I've tried to do a few self quarantine days with no am I even in self quarantine or am I just I've tried to do like coronavirus days where I tried not, where I didn't touch my phone for 24 hours and like it's hard but I think if anyone, you should give it a shot over the thing. I went for a hike and stuff and it was lovely because I'm addicted to Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Messenger, Facebook, Visco, Pinterest. They'd be all my ones that I check like the whole time. Even my email like nearly check like social media. Does anyone else do that? I like this one. What are you happiest with in your life? It's kind of deep, but um, I guess I'm just really happy with, I don't know, like my plans, like my ambition. I feel like I'm never not doing something. Like right now, obviously I'm not doing something because of coronavirus, but like, I feel like I always have things back to back. Like I'm either in college doing something. I love keeping busy and I love pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Like I'd never just like to be like sailing by. I love to be like on the move. Next one is where do you work? So no one ever believes me when I say this because I literally don't like, I literally scream the opposite. But I work in a motorbike shop. I sell like all motorbike gear and helmets and all that sort of gear. I love it, I actually love it. I used to work in River Island and um, now I'm in a different kind of clothes shop, like obviously motorbikes, but I love it. The people are always so nice and yeah. I also give um, grinds, leave inserts, like Irish grinds and like school grinds for like primary and junior search or whatever and then piano lessons so I do a little bit of a little bit of it all what is your name and the name of your channel so my name is Molly <laughs> everyone knows and then my channel is called Molly T because T is for my middle name my middle name is Tuesday so I just always call myself like Molly T and everything um, and then my name on Instagram kind of links so I just thought it all linked together so it was nice. Why did I start a YouTube? So I just decided to start this, start making videos because um, I literally have always wanted to do it and I thought, um, I don't know, I just feel like I have a lot to say about things and like I love editing videos. I always wanted to, like if I wasn't doing teaching I'd be doing like um, communications, TV kind of stuff, editing cameras and all that. So this is like the perfect way I can kind of do both. What will your channel be about? So um, I'm hoping just to do like vlogs. I'm hoping to just do like my life, what I want to do, what I'm doing in my life at that time on my channel. So like vlogs, if it's talking about something, if it's like giving advice or like something I've been through, like 
uh, that I can share it and just like make a video about it so it's gonna be a whole jumble of things and I never know like in the future it might become more specific or we'll just have to see like how it goes. Thanks so much for watching my first sit down YouTube video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe uh, so that you can see my other videos that I'm gonna be putting up. I'm gonna aim to do one or two every week and um, I'll do them based on things that you guys are interested in. I'll leave my Instagram link below as well so you can share it on your story or just send it to your friends. Um, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my first YouTube.